In this video, we will show you the procedure for disassembling, reassembling and replacing the components of the Cummins ISX injector using the tools produced by Radat SPA and the testing of this injector with the Hartridge cam box. We start the disassembling procedure by removing the filters and all the O-rings. Using the holding block 4021877, we place the injector in the vise. With the tool 4021880, we remove the nozzle bush. It is important to act on the upper part of the bush, otherwise the thread in the lower part will be compressed. Using the open wrench 4021883, we remove the injector body and all other components. The screws are removed using the 4021884 insert.
We now place the injector in the tool 4021682, -6 clamped in the vise. To remove the clip correctly, we compress the spring and use the hook tool 4021678 to remove the clip itself and all the other parts to follow. Some Cummins ISX injectors are different, featuring a bracket and screw, but the disassembly procedure is the same. We place the injector in the vise again, using the holding block 4021877. -877. With the extractor 4021942, -942, we remove the oil seal. At this point, the injector is fully disassembled. We can proceed to the careful cleaning, checking and replacement of worn components. We recommend replacing the damaged parts and those subject to major wear, such as springs, oil seals, O-rings, filters and nozzles. Please visit the Radat website for a full list of components. We start the reassembly procedure by tightening the holding block 4021877 in the vise and positioning the injector. We then position the following components. Using the open wrench 4021883, we tighten the injector body to 70 Newton meters. We recommend always replacing the nozzle. Radat supplies the nozzle complete with its internal valve.
Using the tool 4021880, we tighten the nozzle bush to 120 newton meters. We now position the injector in the 4021682 tool tightly held in the vise. We suggest always replacing the oil seal. Then we insert the other components. To mount the clip correctly, we compress the spring and insert the clip. Then we fasten the screws. Lastly, we position the filters and O-rings supplied in the kit 
we place the injector on the cam box using the corresponding adapters. In the software, it is possible to select the injector make and model and by pressing start, the automated series of tests will begin. At the end of the tests, a green or red colour will indicate the outcome, and by selecting each test, it is possible to check the details. All our videos are available on our YouTube channel. For more information, please visit www.radat.com or contact our offices.